and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Yeehaw! Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And then we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to cover the two best rotator cuff stretches and strengthening exercises mm -hmm. to stop pain. I'm really excited about these, Brad, because honestly, I've I've seen somewhat that it, almost darn near miracles with this now. Right. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I know it, Bob. That's why I wanted to do it. And th these are, you know, they're not going to cure 100 percent of the shoulders. No, but they're not. The, the majority. I, I've seen it been working. It's been working almost 100 percent for me so far. Okay. Right. In the I, clinic, I might be on a string, uh, a streak, I guess. Right. So, so right. not a string. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. If you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free. We upload every day. Also, you're going to want to join us. Where's the sign, Brad? Right here, Bob. You want to join us on our social media channels because we're always giving something away. Always. Always. And right now, we're giving away some of our merchandise. There we go. And uh, you can get our ugly mugs on a shirt or you can get our ugly mugs on a mug. You can also get our Strong Like Bull t-shirt. Put it up there, Marcus. You got to show it. We don't it's happen a, to have it with us right no, now. No, we don't have it with us, but Marcus is going to show it online there. You can get them on sweatshirts. You can get them on bags. You can get them on, I don't know. Hoodies? Purses. Yeah, hoodies. Hoodies, yeah. yeah so. In case it's a little cool. All right, Brad, let, take it away. Okay. So when we're talking about rotator cuff stretches and strength things, the majority of rotator cuff injuries is typically the supraspinatus muscle, and it's associated oftentimes with impingement, which means once you get up to about 90 degrees of flexion or reaching up in front of you, it becomes painful, painful, painful. Sometimes it's painful, and once you get up so high, then it's not painful Yeah, depending anymore. where you're on the tendon. Um, right. You know, if you're on a, one part of the tendon, it actually feels better when you get up in here. Right. Worse in this right. arc area here. And if it's really bad, you know, you're not going to, You're not even able to lift it, right. Yeah, so that's called the painful arc syndrome and just pain going up if it's really, you know, if your shoulder is so sore you can't hardly move it, maybe these stretches won't be ready. You need to settle it down. But if you're at that point where it's sore or it hurts when you get to this point, it's probably a good thing. We're going to talk about and show you on Sam why that impingement, where the impingement occurs physically. And then once you understand it a little bit more, it uh Oh, you got some tape sense. on there. Oh, good. yes. <laughs> Sam is prepared. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Bob, you know. Yeah, all right. Sorry, we'll Sam. We'll get reported. All right. Okay. So I got to get my pen. So we the can, one uh, thing you want to point out with this, Brad, is that these tendons, after they keep rubbing and impinging for a while, you actually can get a tear. Sure. That's what results in a tear. So this right. is not something to be taken lightly. Right. You want to get at it right away. So here's the tendon. This actually goes underneath this bone, which is called the acromium. And you can see I can put the pin in there, and there's a gap that needs to be maintained. And if the rotator cuff is not working properly, they call it the caudal glider. In other words, this doesn't drop down. And right there, can you see that where that blue line gets pinched? pinched. Here, maybe yep. you can point to that with that. Yep. And that's where the impingement occurs. Well, actually, if I put the pen in there you, and you close yeah, up, we could you're going to break the pen. So. so, And the muscle to this tendon is up here above the spine of the scapula. Um, that's not real important for this discussion. But we want to make sure this gap is maintained. So we've got two stretches that can help do that. And plus one strengthening exercise that helps right, do two that. Right. Yep, two of that. We're going to kind of break into that. We'll gotcha. get into that a little bit, Bob. So let's, right. people are anxious for these two stretches. Now, the one we call a Statue of Liberty stretch, and we're going to use... People are wondering what I'm doing. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Give it a spin. Good Whoa. throw. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This earthquake. almost went down. Uh, this particular stretch we actually got from the book for hanging. Right. Which is... But well, we adapted it by using the stick. Right. So you don't have to have a pull-up bar to right. hang. Uh, but the idea is that when you stretch out, there's a ligament that connects between the acromium and the caracoid process, and that opens that gap up. So we're going to use a stick. Now, you don't have to have a booyah stick. You can use any stick that's about an inch and a quarter in diameter and about five foot long. You can broom handle, yeah, doweling, whatever. Exactly. Um, you can do it two positions. You can do it seated or standing. Sure. So what you do... Is you're going to put the stick, you need a firm chair, uh, not a couch or something soft and cushy. You put it right by your right hip, and you pull vertical with the stick, and you reach up as high as you can 
and you may help it a little bit, crawl up with your fingers. And now I've got some stretch on my shoulder and I'm just going to lean forward and stretch it for some more. Now, if your shoulder's so bad, this is extreme sharp pain. It's not for you. This is not the stretch that's gonna work. And we go like that. Bob's doing it on the ground. You can also go to a cupboard so you don't have to get on your knees. Are you able to do that, Bob? Yep, I sure am. I mean, Bob's a little, you know, he's a tall drink I'm of tall, water. so but you can see this works out really yep. actually quite well. And I got a lean. really nice stretch on this now. Now, I had so. one patient just recently. He was doing this. I, I didn't explain it well enough because he was doing this. And then he leaned forward. He let his hands slide. And that's not going to give you the stretch. You have to grip, and then you lean forward. That is one nice thing about these buoy sticks. For some reason, this material you can grip really well. Yeah, it, it, it is. To your it's, skin. it's better than uh, PVC pipe. Yeah, it, it is. is. So um, let's go to the next one, Bob. And this is the one that you pretty much. I think you you invented this. Yeah, stretch. this is the chicken wing. So uh, I, what I'm doing is I'm stretching this one. This the the low. This is going to be the lower one on my back. Right. So you bring the stick around, and you're going to grab on. And this is a very, you know, Mackenzie works on this. Yeah. But in addition to that. In, oh, we both got blue shirts. <laughs> yeah. In addition to pulling it up, you're also going to bend forward like this. So I think you can see from this angle. Oh, yeah. Grab the red one, Brad. Oh, yeah. Um, so you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're back. So again. Oh, that's much better. So you don't want to make it so that it's not hitting your head here. You right want to here. move it off to the side like this. There you go. You bring it forward and you stretch it back like this. And, you know, not only am I a advocate of this, I'm a customer because <laughs> my my shoulder was bothering me to, to a large extent yeah. for several weeks. Okay. And I was trying everything. And that's kind of where I kind of came upon this. I was doing your Statue of Liberty. I yeah. added this one. And it took it away. I mean, it was a semi-miracle. What, in uh, one, one treatment? No, not one treatment. Two it days? Took, it, it was, uh, I'd say in a week, it was 80% better. Okay. And then after about three weeks, it was gone. So how so, hard do you stretch it, Bob? I give it a good stretch. I, I, I stretch out here pretty pretty good. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Right. But it, um, and it never did hurt, even when I, when I was having okay. a lot of pain. If you did this and then you experience some sharp pain in there, because you may have uh, biceps tendonitis, and this might actually make it worse. So if you have a Yeah, it shouldn't hurt when you're doing this. Okay. You should just feel a stretch. Right, okay. Basically, Let's so. make that clear, yep. Um, and I would say, you, you know, I was doing just like a set of 10, pressure on, pressure off, okay. you know, and I was doing it a couple times a day. That's all I did. Okay. So it really wasn't much time. Sure. And, and uh, you know, I threw in the, the Statue of Liberty stretch. And, I mean, in all seriousness, I just had my, my nephew do this too, yep. a volleyball player, and same thing. And, and he ended up getting all region uh, after. Oh, I excellent. Mean, yeah, he's a great player. So... All right, well, we got the stretches out of the way. Now let's go to some strengthening exercises. Sure. And with the strengthening, I'm going to go through this kind of briefly because I want to get to the exercises. But the big thing, this is here, we got the humerus. Yeah, you got to show where this is coming yeah, from, this Brad. Is like, if I pulled off his scapula or shoulder blade, here's his humerus. And the muscles on the back or the posterior aspect is what we want to really strengthen so that the ball of the humerus gets positioned properly. So the humerus is this. Right here. We better show this. Yeah, we better take Sam again. So, so here's the humerus right here. And here's the, the muscles he's talking about right, right. there. So. Yep. We want to strengthen those muscles. And it's going to properly position the, the ball into the socket so you have good mechanics. Yeah, all four rotator cuff muscles got to work together in coordination to put it in the right place. So, And that's also going to, it's going to help reduce the possibility for impingement as well. And for this, uh, we like to use... A TheraBand or a stretch band like this. I like the kind with the handles like this. Uh, you can connect it to a doorknob. You can connect it to a bed post at home. Uh, you know, we've got it to the uh, the wall anchor because it works such a ha so handy uh, to connect it at different levels and whatnot. But here's the exercise: elbow, Bob. We yep. need a towel roll. The elbow goes to the rib cage. Your elbow is bent at 90 degrees. And then you get this motion, just like this. Now, oftentimes with people with a shoulder problem, I find that they can go so far and then it starts to hurt. And I say, well, don't go into the pain, just shorten up the range of motion. And if you put a towel roll 
or a little pillow right under your elbow, that forces you to keep your elbow where it belongs. If this happens and the towel roll drops out, your elbow is too far away. Once you get that down, you don't have to have the towel roll there all the time. As long as you get the mechanics, you're going to look for 10 of these. He's at a right angle here. Yep. Did you mention that? Yep. Okay. I think so. Did I mention that, Liz? Uh, I was off. She off, was, I was oh. off finding a towel. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it anyways. <laughs> and you'll feel the muscles back in here fatigue. Um, again, 10 of them, then you give it a rest. Then what I like to do is coordinate that with scapular retraction, which helps position the whole scapula and strengthen the muscles we had just so mentioned. So you're bringing back the shoulder yeah. blades so that, yeah, they're coming together and squeezing together. This provides the foundation for the shoulder. Right. You know, all these muscles of the shoulder have to be anchored in to the body. And so that, that provides the base. And it's really important to work on that. And posture, too. It's going to improve your posture, mm. which improves the positioning of the, the shoulder itself, too. If you're like this in bad posture, and show, you know, I'll show how far my arm goes up, Brad, when I'm in bad posture. Yeah, it's going up forehead That's level. It. That's all the farther I can go. I stand up, now look, it goes all the way up. Lines so, up with his yeah. ear. Uh, that, you know, that's one of those things that... Uh, Posture just, is really important. Yeah, it is. So again, I'll do 10 of these within a pain-free range, just feeling muscle fatigue. Then I'll do 10 of these. And then I'll do that three times in a row. Probably not when you start, when it's, t when it's still right. injured. But as Work you get your way stronger, up to it. that's the goal. So there we go, Bob. Three fairly simple exercises to do. Uh, and they'll make a big difference in, in your shoulder, right. I, I promise you. Yep. Take your time so. with them. Watch our video 300 times so that you get the mechanics right. Just kidding, just kidding. Do you He'll agree? I agree. He concurs. He concurs. All right, <laughs> Thank thanks you. everybody for watching.